recording this. Oh, okay. Hey, yo, you already know who it is. It's your boy, Tiny Films in the Cut. And we out here. Uh, episode six. Six. Episode six. It's been, it's been a minute, I won't lie. Um, to the real fans out there, I apologize. But yeah, we back. And I got my boy all the way from the 035. You know what it is. I got my boy Andile Makunga. What did you do, bro? Exactly. Ukrainian words. I'm nice in your soul, I'm all good. I'm all good. Dog, dog. Like, like this is like the. I don't know. There were a lot of delays for some reason. Yo, so <laughs> many. <laughs> Too so many, many delays, but yeah, we finally got out here and we finally doing this, bro. Dog. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> finally, I'm. I'm sorry for disturbing your plans, but you know. Not so good. I just had to grab you when I had the chance, dog. I had to grab bro. you when I had the chance, bro. <laughs> we never really do get the chance, so, you know, sometimes you got to make them sacrifices. But we happen to always get the chance at Amsterdam, man. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> what happens in Amsterdam stays, stays in Amsterdam, Amsterdam, dog, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you already know what it is, dog. Sure, so sure, how was dog. your week, bro? That was cool. It was cool. A lot of exciting things happening, you know. Um... I know. Should I? Should I share? Oh God! Don't oh, talk to me. So, yeah, but so what happened during the week? Um, I got a few interviews mm-hmm. um, regarding Hispanic shy. You got to to calling Hispanic. So, so hey, you dog, dog but it's, um, it's a devil. So yeah, dog. So I got, I got, I got like a couple of interviews. Okay, the one they called me, they said, um, "Hey, I'm, am I speaking to Anile Makunga?" Um, did you apply for hospitality? Like what? Yes, I can cook, yeah. you know, <laughs> but I didn't apply for hospitality, you oh, know? Shit. So I'm like, nah, okay. <laughs> that, was that, that, that was funny. That was weird, but like. Yeah, yeah that was yeah. funny. It was funny, you know? I'm at work at that point. I'm getting that call. Like, hmm. work on girl peg. <laughs> I think girl peg. <laughs> but then, um, then I got another call um, from um, another agency. And yeah, they called me to Hillcrest, and um, yeah, the interview went well. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Hoping to join them at some point, um, depending on the project that they're gonna send me, because there's a okay. project that I gotta do. Depending on how that goes, then I'm definitely in. Okay, yeah. so before we just get into a lot of that, actually, I feel like we we look oh we 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 oh okay. pa- post a lot of things like people are thinking now, you know, yeah. what is he working on? What does he do? Yeah. So can you just take us down that, bro? Like, like, <laughs> okay, bro. Okay, wait. Do I start with what do I do, or do I start with who I am, basically? Because I feel like it makes sense who I am, Kala, and then what do I do? No, what? It, so you've you've picked your path. Let's go. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, Andy Lamakunga, I come from a bay. Um, I went to John Ross College. I studied at DUT, studying graphic design. <laughs> wait. <laughs> what dog? How fair? So I'm, I'm, I'm taking you guys through. I don't know. Uh, it's not that. We look at what's even too spumer. How fair? So I'm not, I'm not afraid to say spumer. What's fair? Zin. Hey, so I went to high school. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> 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 so I went to high school with Umakum. <laughs> uh, he was in the year above me, you know, and which is John's College, back in Richards Bay. Representing. But now. Like before, before uh, like like I went to John Ross, I went to Ridge Bay Primary School, which was in Marin Sea. Like like a Lonnie-ish school type yeah. of thing. Yeah. You know? yeah so <coughs> I didn't really see like a lot of action type of thing, but then like when I went to John Ross, the first high school <laughs> fights that I saw was with my cook. <laughs> Do I even remember it? You do remember it. I remember hey, man, 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 man. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Could Let me you tell you. Is this, is, this, is this with Ubai? And no, Jade? not oh, Ubai. Okay, cool. I forgot the guy's name. But then. But they, they will not forget your pants. Oh shit! I remember, dog. Like you know, dog. You know, I've been. You, I've been on that like fashion thing. And homie was in my pants, dog. <laughs> that nigga was grabbing your pants. Oh, I, rem- I actually, I actually remember the guy. <laughs> oh, what? It, yeah, yeah. No, I remember. I remember. That's the first high school fight I saw, bro. bro I was. I was Thanks not, for that. Dog. I was. I was. I was not gonna take. You know, 
But yeah, I was standing for me, dog. <laughs> yeah, 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 dog. He better, he better, he better love my pants. You know, with the he better love my, <laughs> he pants. Better love my pants. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's just that like ever since I wanted to do the the podcast, you know that's the story I couldn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell the story. <laughs> Nigga wore shiny pants. He wore shiny bootleg pants. <laughs> I was uh, that was teasing though. I was teasing dog. I treated I treated school as yeah. like you know my my platform to yeah actually get out there too. So it's it's always been. It's always been that thing. So you know, I'm guessing like a lot of it started in high school or was it like primary school? Uh, even primary, even in primary, I guess um, I always stood for what I wanted, you know? Mm-hmm. Like I didn't really care about people. Even with the whole fight thing that broke out with the dude yeah, or no, whatever. No, no, no. That's, that's, that's irrelevant. That was like, is yeah, it like yeah. now, um, were you in like now the artistry phase? Or when did you start like the artistry phase? Because like remember, yeah, as a, as the people kid. still don't know what you do. Bro. Oh, shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. So, I'm a graphic designer mm-hmm. by profession. Um, so the um, whole art, what um, loving of art, came from like drawing Dragon Ball. I feel like a lot of us. That's where we started. You know, sure. we, we drew Dragon Ball. The class is great. This is this like is grade, high school. This is grade two. Oh shit! This is grade two. This so you like, always been drawing. Shit. Always been drawing. You know, oh, they talking serious stuff. I'm um, there. You pen, you know, pencil, whatever, you know. Um, so I'd either be drawing Dragon Balls or Emot. So it was like, yeah. So it was just that. And then um, I got into high school. When I got into high school, um, okay, we, uh, we did arts and culture, and I really liked that a lot, you know. So then, um, yeah, then when I got to grade 10, um, I chose art. Uh, and I chose EGD. I had a, I had a funny I've had a funny package, but anything with drawing I wanted to do. Yeah, I remember you know? so it's carried away. You know, so yeah. yeah, and then went through that. And funny enough, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. Funny enough, bro. Uh, I got out of school and I wanted to be an architect. Oh shit! Yeah. Okay. And then I just didn't make it to the the levels, you know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. then, yeah. I, I fell back into graphic design, and then I actually found the love for graphic design. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't a fallback at the end of the day. Yeah, it wasn't a fallback you, at the end of the day. It was it really was the path, yeah. the journey. Yeah, yeah and I'm yeah. enjoying it, bro. Mm. Yeah, I can relate to that because now me, Doug, like, uh, I was also really into the EGD stuff in sure high school, and my direction now was mechanical engineering. Mm. Yeah, bro. But sure, then sure. when I went out out of high school, I ended up doing civil, mm. and then. Um, when I was doing, I was getting the grades, but you know, <laughs> my mama tried. You know, <laughs> yeah, I love you, mama. My mama tried to keep me in school, bro, but like, yeah. it wasn't me, dog. Like, cause I went and I did. Uh, I finally got a transfer to me- to mechanical engineering. Yeah. Um, in the second semester. Uh, did you try it out? I tried it out. Yeah. For two weeks. Yeah. And I was over it. <laughs> Dude, and then how yeah. did you? How did you? Yeah, talk. Okay, well, uh, this is about me. I can't. Nah, no, talk to me. Talk nah, to like, me. Like, how did you, how do you even get into like filming? Dog? So like, oh. it was like it was um, a lot of things, dog. Like um, I probably spoke about it in a podcast or okay. so already, but it was um, like always. I have always imagined myself in us in like sports. Yeah. Because in high school, that's what I was. Yeah. You know, like I really like to sports. Yeah. Yeah. No. And um, I was so for happy to. Tour now, yeah, dog, you know what it is. <laughs> Yeah. Um, but then I, I so happen to also be like pretty good at like your maths and physics and yeah, yeah well, EGT. Um, but so then I automatically thought that mechanical engineering is what, is, what it was for me. Mm. You know, so I did that for a while. I, um, I dropped out and that was 2016. Like in my first year, I dropped out. And then 2017, I tried it again. And then I dropped out again, and then I ended up doing sports. Okay. Uh, like, I was just coaching full-time in 2017. I was in school. And uh, 2018 came, I actually did doing sports at DUT. Yeah. And um, that's when I also picked up the camera. And then I started doing this shit. Now, yeah. when I started doing this shit, like, hey, dog. she was like, this is, this on and off, dog. Like, yeah, I'm yeah, still yeah. coaching and shit. Man. Um but then, hey, mama tried, bro, but I dropped out again. 
Yeah, Chica, look though. where you are now, bro. Like uh, this is this is this is actually really cool, though. Yeah, man, and I feel Respect. like uh, with you as well. Like if you went and ended up, ended up doing architecture, like what is the guarantee that you were going to enjoy it as much as you did this? Yeah, true. Because you know we we might think of it because that's where the money's at. Yeah. But like, what would you really enjoy doing? And yeah, like I think that's where the worth of living comes from. It's like. Just do what you enjoy, man. Yeah, man. Like straight up. Yeah, for yeah. sure. But I obviously, agree. have be be business minded about it. Yeah, man. And try to make it sustain you, definitely. Of course. Um. Yeah. But yeah, so that's basically the journey for me, to Yeah. Ah. But anyways, um, so you went from being heavy in visual uh, visual art, though. Like I remember you in high school as a visual artist. Yeah. Um, I didn't know you as a graphic designer, though. Yeah. So tell us about that transition. Like, did you just stop uh, drawing and stuff, or what were you into in high school? Like, was it more of the sketches, or was it like the painting? Um, in high school, I was more into the sketches. Hey, um, one thing about me, I never enjoyed blending colors, so I never enjoyed painting. So I was more into like pencil drawings, pen drawings, charcoal. You know, mm. like. This, you just use, it's, it's either use a few pencils or you just use that charcoal uh, stick or whatever. But yeah, that's how I, I established, you know what, I'm not going to do painting or anything. And it's still something that I'm still fighting because whenever, like, I, I, actually have, I have, actually have a canvas in my room that I haven't touched yet because I'm still trying to figure out how am I going to stick to me and what I, what I, like, you know, like what I said to myself, like, how do I bring in my style into this canvas? Like, yes, maybe I can pick up a paintbrush, but I'm not going to blend. I'm not going to blend. So, so what I could probably do is, like, paint um, the canvas black and mm. paint in white. Okay. Yeah. So, um, back to your, your question, eh? So, like, as I said, I went from, I went from, I went from art, um, Oh yeah, I went from art um, into like graphic design. It wasn't really, I wanted, okay, so like I wanted something solid. Like I wanted something solid. I think I was afraid at some point to just go into the art industry because I felt like maybe I won't make much money. Okay. I wanted a solid job. So All I wanted right. something that involves art. Oh, okay. So then that's where graphic design graphic fell design in. And I didn't really even understand it. I just knew it had drawing and I was happy. Oh shit! Sure. You know, so then, so it was all still incorporating the the whole idea about visual art. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So do you still consider yourself Vela as a visual artist in graphic design? Yep. Basically. Most definitely. Okay. Okay. Most definitely. All right. All right. That's yeah. cool. That's cool. So in Spanish, Spanish, on a manje. I saw you actually taking a snap today, and you're on Premiere Pro. Yeah, I was on Premiere Pro. <laughs> oh, so you work on Premiere Pro as well? Yeah, I do. Oh shit! That's all I know, dog. Yeah. That's all I know. Like, yeah. I don't know other shit. So what? Are, what other programs you we work on? Well, um, as a graphic designer sure. and at school, we only taught um, Illustrator, InDesign, Photoshop. Um, Premiere Pro. Um, I taught myself um, how to use it just for the job. Oh, you okay. know, because they were like, you know what? We got enough graphic designers. We're actually looking for a video editor. Oh. Um, but. Um, when we spoke to you over the phone, you did say you have used a few edit, uh, like what video editing apps. And I'm like, yeah, I have, but not so deep, you know, into it. Were you lying? Huh? Were you lying? No, I was telling the truth. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I was telling the truth. <laughs> all I used, all I used was like iMovie when I'm editing um, some video we are we're doing at school. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, so they didn't ask you about Prem? Huh? They didn't ask you about Prem? No, they didn't ask me about Prem. So uh, I, they, they were going to take me even if I used that movie. I just felt like everybody's using Premiere Pro there. And I was like, yo, bro, I need to up my game, you know? Hey, Premiere Pro is the future, bro. Exactly. So then I taught myself how to use that in like a week. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah then I've been on it. And really, you, it's like, it's very related to the other softwares. Ex man. Exactly. Because if you've it, got a hang of Photoshop, it's, it's, it's a it, nice transition. Like, it's not... It's the not hardest. so yeah. It's yeah. not so difficult to understand. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. True. So it's easy to hop onto another thing. Yeah. Because now me like um, I'm also self-taught in Premiere Pro, and that's Trends. all I use. Like I'm saying. Yeah. And so you don't use After Effects. Nah. Okay. Cool. So I, I'm busy trying to learn After <laughs> Effects. You know. 
Uh, yeah. But I'm not as serious as I am because I guess I'm satisfied with Premier Pro, which is bad. Uh, but you know, mm-hmm. I try. Yeah. I try. I try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, you just down to basically now all or almost all Adobe's, which is After Effects. You using After Effects? No, no, no I'm not using After Effects. Oh. I'm, st- I'm still planning to teach myself yeah, yeah, yeah. how to use it. That'd be cool. Yeah. Um, motion graphics, too. Motion graphics. You got to get on that shit. Have you seen my work, Doug? I, I, I also imagine that shit having to move and stuff. So yeah, like yeah. That, but yeah, we'll get there, though. We'll get there. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, so what is what is like? Where do you want to be at now? Like, for um, someone to call you up and be like, "Hey, yo, we need you as so and so." Well, I want to be a creative director, bro. Oh shit! Yeah, I want to be a creative director. So you got you're sitting on ideas and shit. Yeah, I'm sitting. Have on you ideas. ever like try to implement any of them, or is it just like, is it still just like a? Um. I think that you want to do. I mean, the fact that I have a page um, uh, that I use to like um, display my what artworks or whatever, like Instagram, my Instagram page where I post my artworks, um, already means I'm trying to implement something and yeah. I'm working on something. But eventually, I do want to like start probably like a brand get into a brand or something, start uh, start a brand. Um, Put in the engine. Yeah, so I want to I wanna take my art, I want to make it move. Like, as I was saying, I want to make it move, but not just on After Effects. I want it to be worn. Like, I want to have people walk around in my art, oh, sure. you know, and not have to, like, have people come see my art, but people just, like, get to see art move <laughs> with people as they move. I want to, I want to, one one of the times I want to have like a shoot um, where people are just like randomly walking, and at the back of their t-shirts or some or something like that, there's like my art on mm. you. So I have a plan of that. Okay. So I'm um, I want to implement it, but I'm saving up for it because I'm um, someone someone once told me, um, you know what? It's good to observe. It's good to observe. Sometimes it could take you two years. 10 years but then when 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 you when you have something solid to grab on then like um i'd say like take 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 your time in planning take yeah, your yeah. time in planning don't just do because um you feel like you know some you're gonna push the wave or whatnot yeah okay. or some or some sort of pressure yeah yeah nah like literally craft your ish and then when you're ready then take it out like don't just be pushed into mm. it you know, so I'm I'm implementing it. Me not doing anything isn't me not actually just doing it, like doing nothing about it. It's it's me planning. Okay, okay. So yeah, I'm still I'm still. Uh, no, definitely I can relate yeah. to that though. Yeah, I can relate to. Um, it was actually uh, a show that um, I had an idea about when, like I said, when I I didn't say that. Sorry, but I when I started picking up the camera. In twenty in twenty eighteen, sure. Um, my idea, I had this idea for, for a show. Okay. And um, I'm actually only shooting it next week. That's yeah, well. dope, dog. Yeah. So, uh, it's it's a really great feeling of actually you know, I'm into preparations. You know, we're just finalizing dates. So yeah, we know mm. it's next week type of thing, and we're actually doing it. Yeah, and yeah, I guess this is my this is the announcement. <laughs> you know, Kaleidoscope, we're going up. Um, a show, a show, a music show. It's a music it's show. A music show, and oh, dope, I, I guess music. we'll get full idea or understanding about it when we actually drop everything. But yeah. Um, we dropping it in April, the beginning of April. Yeah. And yeah. It's that's actually being done. That's dope, dog. Yeah, bro. But like, then, you know, we behind you, dog. We behind yeah. you. Ah, so definitely. Be dog, be I am working with like a lot of car- collaborations. Shots. You know, and yeah. shout out to my girl Mercedes. Shout out Mercedes. You know, uh Omaze Meg. 
she's helped me a lot with the planning phases of it. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. I actually, I actually, I I don't personally know her, but I I actually go through her page and yeah, the yeah. issue is lit. Yeah, she's still lit. Check it yeah, out, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maze Mag. Yeah, Maze Mag. Shout out to yeah. her. Shout out. Um, shout out to of course Nayo Challenge and Yella has been giving me a lot of advice about it. Yeah. Um, also helping me a lot behind the scenes. Shout out to A1 Wolf as well. Shout also out to helping me there for Ecological. Uh And of course, the Creative Monsters, which is Shoo, what I we also this. just dropped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> drop the follow. You don't drop oh, follow. dog. Go follow that shit. Go nah, follow Creative, follow it, creative you know. Monsters, you know. Is it Creative underscore Monsters? No, it's Creative Monsters underscore Africa. Creative Monsters underscore ZA. One of the two. ZA. Africa. Africa. Huh? Did I change it? No. Africa. Did I? Are you yeah. sure? Creative Monsters underscore Africa. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's going to be like basically Pod Bites, which is uh, my team, who Q Productions, uh, Sonny Lekwabe, and our father, Milo Menorah. <laughs> you sure? You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can't do it without him. We won't do it without him. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we find, and we're also collaborating with a couple of other, uh, what's it called, graphic designers, other uh, costume designers. Yeah. Uh, MC for this season is going to be Hope and Bailey. Mm. Um, you know, so it's like a very collaborative project, you know. Yeah. And, and I'm very confident about it. And yeah, I guess the time that we took to actually do it was, was definitely worth it. Mm. Yeah, because I was very like, yeah, you kept on like, like I was like, damn, I didn't do it 2018, damn, I didn't do it 2019. Mm -hmm. But in the 2019, I realized we didn't know it, it will happen when it happened. Yeah. 2020, the people that I spoke about, part of with, like, um, it kind of, kind of pushed, you know, like, well, well, kind of supported you. They were your support structure yeah, in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but then they had their own ideas, so they did their own things. Oh. Like, well, Okay. So then, uh, kind of moved on from that. Yeah, well, I was a little bit let down, but then I was like, nah, I gotta move. So yeah, ended up moving and Look where yeah, you are finally now. doing it now. Finally doing it now. So yeah, we out here. We out here. We out here. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, tell us about any big personal projects you work on, or are you just caught up on work, bro? Yo, so hey, work, <sighs> work's got me bad. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> work's got me bad. Um, I do have personal projects. Um, one with um, a friend of mine, Denise. Oh, is that the meeting you're supposed to have today? Oh, no. That's another project. <laughs> is it a personal project? No. No, no, no. no. It's fine. Uh, personal project, no. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. Um, so, so when you work on personal projects, is it now the visual arts or is it now the graphic designing? Uh, it's a mix, hey? It's a, it's a mix. It's not just graphic design because the one uh, I was going to tell oh, you about. Oh, sorry. can be like... Graphic design is visual arts. Yeah, and it's digital visual. It's digital visual arts. Can you say that? It's it's visual communication. It's digital, visual, yeah, visual, visual communication. Arts. So um, you you can't just say digital because of course we start we start from the paper and then it yeah becomes Ooh, digital. Wow. Yeah. So do so, you use the sketchpad thing? Nah. The the Wacom thing thing. Yeah. No, I don't use that. No. Nah. I actually I actually use my mouse, bro. All right. When I but draw, like, I use my mouse. But would you want to commission this one, man? Nah, it's gonna take away uh, my character. Oh shit. So the mouse, people find it very hard to draw the mouse because whenever I tell them, hey, you know what, um, I drew this with the mouse, they're like, what? And I feel like if I use a Wacom or whatever, it's gonna change my whole character. It's gonna shape my 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 drawings. But I like my drawings messy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, but now, like, back to the physical visual arts. Isn't that now what you enjoyed, logo, or like what you do enjoy more? No, no, no. No. Okay. So yeah. you've you've officially been married to now to to, to the graphic designing, like the digital. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. All right. Pretty much. All right. All right. Yeah. So as I was so saying, you find your style through it. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, sorry. yeah, so I was saying, um, you see, the project that I'm busy with, um, with Kineso, um it's more photography and mm. just a bit of graphic, okay. you know? Well, um, 
what we're trying to do um, is more uh, for the community. Yeah. Um, uh, I'll speak a bit more about it um, because I feel like I don't want to. I, I don't want to let the cat out the bag or anything. Oh, so. okay. You don't want to do yeah, it. Yeah, but I'll okay. just. I'll kind of give people the idea of it. So Come like, on, I feel like give us an exclusive in the episode. <laughs> yeah. So like, I feel like with photography, um, a lot of people have filtered. Um, the, 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 like a lot of people have filtered, what can I say, the way life is or the way life should be. Like, you know, people um, feel like you gotta put makeup for a photo shoot. You gotta, oh, okay. you, you gotta dress up in a certain way mm-hmm. for a photo shoot. So what I wanna do is basically- Shift take, the perception. Sh- shift the perception and like take real images of real moments and then um, put like motivational quotes on top of that and then probably print that on t-shirts. Probably oh, that's shirts. the back shirts that you're talking about. Um, no, that was with the arts. This is with photography. Okay. Yeah. But that's also art, bro. Yeah. No, but, <laughs> yeah. No, um, but, oh, not, the, not the physical art that you, the yeah. visual arts. And it's now photography. Yeah. Um, di- graphic design on top of photography. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So that's that's the one project with mm-hmm. Ukulele, so that we're working on. Mm. Um, hopefully, we want to get it to an international level because our target, our target, I mean, market or whatnot is of course like foreigners, worldwide. people, people. Worldwide. Yeah, worldwide. Because it's like okay, um, people want to know more of what happens within here, you know, mm. like South Africa. So like, I wanna, I wanna like show them, like every, like everywhere, like. The slums, bro. Like, I want to show them ikase, you know. Like, not all, not not all the like uh, the places that people want to go. I want to show them where, like, people um, started, you know. Like where the raw, um, what what can I say? The um, is it? Should I say the raw being? Yeah, the role being like before you, you before you actually have something you come from a background. So I want to show them the background of what we have and not just what we have. Oh, you know, sure. I want to show them like everything. Oh, okay. Yeah. Through this photography. Through this photography. Oh fuck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And do you all have a name for it not yet? No, not yet. Oh, okay. still, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you probably <laughs> we still, he gave we me still the face it. like he does have the name for it. Just, <laughs> just won't say it yet. No. All right, but you hear you here first. You know, watch out for what Makung is cooking out. Yeah. Uh, probably dropping it, probably. I'm not going to give it a time. Frame. Right, right, yeah. right. No pressure. Because no that's, pressure. Gonna, that's just going to put. But it's going to happen. It's, it's going to happen. happen, though. It's right, going to happen. Right. Yeah, for sure. Nah, that's yeah. cool. That's and cool. then um, I have another project. Yeah, another, the one, another the one, the one um, you were asking about, the meeting. That the meeting was, that yeah. you're going to yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's with um, MID. Um which is um, made in Durban. Uh, check it out, guys. It's a lit agency. So um, they basically just um, deal with like creatives. So whatever, um, whatever you have to offer as a creative, you know, you just like literally sign up. For me, um, as much as like being under there, people also like think, hey, you know what? Are you getting paid? I don't. I don't even really think about the money. Actually. The guy who approached me is like like a neighbor, you know, and I've watched how motivated, you know, he is, and I could see that he actually, he actually wants to get this on the road. So I was like, if I can help him in some way, why not? Oh, you know, sure. I've got nothing to lose. Yeah. You know, so yeah. So with 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 with, with MID, where they where they situated? Where oh, this they, they situated in Durban. Where 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 where? We're in Durban. So it's 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 not like. It's not like um, because I've seen I've seen a banner, um, um, uh, made in Durban banner. Yeah. Where did I see it? I think it's like on your way, Gomash. Yeah. And I think it was black and green. Was it? Uh, it's black and white. Black and white. Black and white. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, Juventus, Juventus type of look. Oh, <laughs> black okay, and white. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So yeah. yeah. So, so you're saying. Yeah. So uh, we. With them, we, I don't think we actually have a location that we can say, you know, 
we 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 literally based in Durban because we spread out. Mm. We spread out in Durban, and it's not just a, like an agency where you walk into an office agency. No, we're an agency because it's a collect it's it's, it's 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 collectives coming together, basically. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that. yeah, there's a lot of things that you know um, we do, um, which is like photography. Uh, we push music, graphics. Um, yeah, pretty much a lot. Uh, what fashion? So there's brands under the name and whatnot. So yeah. Hmm. So that's uh, that's MID. And how long have you been working with them? Um, recently joined. In fact, recently joined. Um, they like what do you mean joined? Like, do you pay a fee and stuff? Uh, no, sign a contract. Okay. Yeah. So I recently signed a, uh, signed a contract with them. Um, so we like haven't do you really work started. For them? Do I work for them? Um, yeah, I do work for them. In, yeah, in a way, in a way, because you see, the thing is, they they can give me a brief, but also depending on um, but they my, make flexi- my, like my, my, my my flexibility. <laughs> Depending on my flexibility, yeah. I'll be able to like you know. So it's something we discussed. It's something we discussed. I'm okay. like you know what's uh, actually because it's something we had discussed um, from like get go mm-hmm. that I'm actually a busy person and I have a lot of projects that I'm working on. Yeah. So me joining doesn't mean I'm gonna be like full on. You know, like yeah. I do get free time and where I can help, you'll be there. I'll be there. So yeah. I understand Put it that. that way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, how does that job differ from what you're doing at your work? How does? Are you s- doing the same thing that you do at work? Uh, there. Yeah. No, not the same. I mean, it's still graphic, but it's not the same thing because I, I mean, at work we, we we like what um we create learning material. Oh, okay. Yeah. So at work we create uh, a learning material for students, yeah, and yeah. then with them it's more based on like events or whatever sponsors we're trying to get to. Mm. So it's like, um, what can I say? It's proposals and presentations and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah. That's what we, that's what I do there. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. 2020, 2026. 2026. Where you see yourself? 2026, yo, bro. I see myself um, with, yeah, with my own brand, not even one, maybe two. Mm. Um, I see myself uh, a lot, like, what can I say? I see myself um, in a way better position in terms of work. Yes, like sure. right now, I'm a junior graphic designer. Yeah. Um, and at this point, you said 2026. I see myself um, as a senior graphic designer. I know it actually takes some time to get there. Yeah. But if you like really work hard. I feel like you can cut that short, mm. you know? So, yeah, I see myself as a senior graphic designer then. Um, yeah. So. Oh, another thing. Um, yeah. I don't know, maybe if you know. Um, so I was also part of um, the Laurie's program. Do you know what that is? Lori. Yeah, the Laurie's. I know the Laurie Awards. Yeah. So uh, I was part of the Laurie's program, what, twice? What, what, what is the Laurie's program for those people that don't oh, know? Oh, so, so the Laurie's program is basically... Um, and for me, because I don't know. Uh, oh, well, <laughs> yeah. So it's basically, um, so in university, they, they pick students, the top students in um, visual communication, not just being graphic design. So like probably if you're doing video or photography or whatever, so they picked the top 75 students. 75? Yeah, in the Middle East, which is um, South Africa, I think Nigeria, Kenya. Can't remember the other one. Okay. So it's like four countries. Middle, Middle East. Middle East. <laughs> the West. West. <laughs> Middle East. West. Yeah, West. <laughs> West. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, uh, I've been selected twice. The first time it was my second year um, to, to to actually observe, to go and watch and observe what happens and to basically work hard enough to get there when I'm in my third year. So in my third year, I said to myself, I'm going to make the Laurie's program. I'm going to make it. Um, and I did. 
and then it was a wonderful experience so like the lorries so the lorries what do they do they connect you into big brands so um like with this with this one here um they were sponsored by Woolworths. i'm not too sure if they're always sponsored by Woolworths. so that's what i'm saying with this one oh okay, they were okay, sponsored, okay, okay. Were sponsored um, by Woolworths. By Woolworths. Mm-hmm. so like number one gets a straight contract into Woolworths, you know as a designer you oh. know and some what cash prizes or whatnot yeah. you know um, but then the runner-ups, um, not only being the second person and third person, but just being part of that program. Oh, okay. Um, so the 75? Yeah. Oh, 75. Like, yeah, 75. So, sorry. No, like, no, no, no. Don't get me wrong. Like, okay. 75, like, of, this, uh, of these students or whatnot, they stand a chance in getting into big brands because they've been part of the program. So it's a big thing to be part of the program. So if it's 75 P, yeah, it's a huge thing. I'm trying to yeah. also put it in perspective. So in, if there's 75 people within all these places, yeah, so it's like, how many people per country? Um, I'm not even sure. I, I, I think, you know, I'm not sure if, like, let's just say, 50 of them come from here and three come from another country. It's not, I don't think it's, 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 it's like um, allocated to say, you know, only 25 from each country. Oh, or something. so it's no, just it's, the top. It's just the top. Fuck. Yeah. So it's just the top. Like Fuck. at school, I think we were um, probably about 10. Because it's yeah. Duty producers, bro. Shout out to Duty for yeah. producing 10 of the 75. Yeah. From like the... You said the Middle East. The Middle East, yeah. Yo, that, that's dope, dog. And shout out to you for being part of that, dog. There you go. So when did, when did, like, when did this happen now? No, this happened um, last year. Yeah, yeah. Um, with the whole COVID-19. COVID-19, everything not, going on. It was hectic. Sure, sure, you know, because sure, sure. we were juggling. I was, I was juggling my final year with the Lori's program being here. And And, and, and yeah, and, and my, my own work. Yeah. And what you call this, the COVID-19 being this, you know. Yeah. Shit, yeah, this, shit this pandemic that's just like shit, shit, you know, shit, yeah. So, yeah, so yeah, I managed to get into the lorries, and uh, yeah, I, I think being part of being part of the lorries um, taught me a lot because it's it's basically um, a, a a month, um, what like training, or should I say, yeah, workshop. So they they teach you stuff and then from there that's how they start like eliminating because it's like it's like elimination rounds and stuff oh damn so yeah. have, have which which round did I come out <laughs> no did you come out yeah like I mean like you do get it like they they get to the top three of course have they gotten to the top three and everything no they got into the top three it's, oh, o- it's so over now it just happened last year yeah this happened last year so which where, where did you make it up to I made it up to the second round yeah, second round. So like there were like four there were like four rounds. Okay. Yeah, so I made it up to like the second round. That's top bar. Um that is let me see. That is I'm not even sure. Hey, was it like top Huh? Top thirty. Thirty, top yeah, 30. yeah, like top thirty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. Because from there of course it goes to like fifteen. Oh, right. And then, yeah, then it's top three, I think. Oh, yeah. shit, oh, shit, yeah. shit. Oh, that's dope, dog. That's dope, dog. Yeah. So then, uh, so you reap the benefits of exposure within that sphere? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exposure okay. and also just like, I I learned I learned a lot, you know? Oh, um, I damn. learned that the damn. people the, the, that the people that didn't make it or whatever, they didn't make it not because they were not good. It's just that it's not what they were looking for. It's not, it's, dang. You know? Yeah. It's, it's, it's got, go. Yeah, it's got Oof. nothing to do about who's better, who's, who's better. better. No, 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 no. Yeah. 75 is the top. 75 different types of traits. Yeah. One trait we're looking for. That's what yeah. we're looking for. Yeah. And yeah, no, nah, that definitely makes sense. That definitely makes sense. Then it doesn't really become um, like some sort of competition. It just becomes like, yeah. Let's say, you know, we just want to narrow it down to what we want. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, that's cool, bro. That's cool. Shout out to you for that, though. Shout out to you for that. So, was this through t- graphic design? Um, or when when they look at when they look at your portfolio, they don't just look at um your school portfolio. They look at um whatever a uh, side hustle or whatever you're doing. You're doing that that that's that's within the visual communication space because I had my personal projects within. The, the, the lorries um, that's what got me in 
it's like some of my personal projects. You know, it wasn't just only my schoolwork because mm. my schoolwork, um, I feel like with school, they, they literally box you, so you can't be yourself. So most of my personal projects are what they wanted, in fact, than what I produced from school, Yeah, you know? Yeah. So I feel like even like if I had to get into the lawyers, maybe then, maybe even next year or some, something like that, if it's even possible, and going in with my personal projects, uh, who knows? I could have been a lot further. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. But I guess it happened like this for a reason. For a reason, yeah. Straight up. Straight Shots. up. Straight up. Nah, that's dope. So um, I wanted to ask about the, because um, you say now, when I was asking about 2026, which is the next five years, you're speaking about having a higher position in La Pospanacuan. Yeah. But now... Um, <clears throat> no, not I like Spanakuan. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like Spanakuan. <laughs> nah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So the job title, Vele, wherever you would go now, yeah. would just still be junior would be would be senior graphic designer. No, I'm saying right oh, now. Oh, right now, right yeah. Now. Still okay, be junior, yeah. so like wherever you go. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. And then even um, if you go somewhere else in your fourth year, fifth year, like in your first year there, though, you can still be a senior graphic designer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because, I mean, because I mean, it's, it's based experience. because of experience. It's all about experience. Yeah, it's all about experience. Yes. Okay, now yeah. that makes sense. That's me. That makes yeah. sense. So, um, yeah. You spoke about the next five years trying to be a, a, a senior graphic designer, but now you also spoke about um, uh, wanting to be a, a creative director. So, like, yeah. Um, so, you do I think not in the next five years it will still just be a fantasy, or is it just something that you think now, no, um, even though I'm close to being a senior graphic designer, yeah. here comes my breakthrough, or here comes my opportunity to actually pursue being a creative director. Now, what is it now? Is it, okay, uh, I don't need to be a senior <laughs> graphic designer. Yeah. Here's my, cre cre yeah. I want to be a creative, creative director. director. No, I feel like, um, even, like it's very hard, like I'm telling you which one you, kind I'm telling you which one would you choose. Yeah, but like, like I mean, of I'm course. I'm just asking I'd, like, where do you I'd, see yourself? I'd, I'd, of course I'd choose being a creative director. I feel like it would still be something I'd, I, I'd be really like, passionate about and wanting to get into I'm because being a creative director you're a problem solver and that happens every single day even when you're not not noticing yeah. so that's why i know for sure like when the opportunity presents itself and i can take it i'm gonna grab it yeah because i'll be solving problems though. yeah it's straight up straight yeah. up i feel yeah i feel that i feel that yeah bro. so creative direction would be the shit be the shit bro but <laughs> if it's graphic design then you're still doing that because it's the shit yeah basically yeah i feel you there i feel you there bro yeah all right dog um let's see okay yeah now nah, dog we can close it in the phone i know but so i don't even tell people what to where they can follow me from and all no, of that dog, play, cafe no, 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 <laughs> Why, so our fits, our fits. No, okay. delayed. So yeah, um, if people are trying to see some more of my work, wait, dog, I'm getting there. Oh, jeez, it's chakin. Our fits, chakin. Why are you they rushing? Get to see young nah, yeah. dog, I was just checking the time. time. Like, okay, yeah. it's that time. Yeah. So, yeah, this is me now, bro. <laughs> thank you very much for being here, bro. Nah, bro, thank you, you bro. Know. Thank you. Um, in closing. May you please look at that camera and just, you know, drop us some words. Drop us some words on the people trying to be creative directors, people trying to be visual artists, yeah. pe but they are graphic designers, you know, and they just, they want to be that though. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Um, what's got you here? You know, like, talk yeah, to us. Yeah, okay. Bro. So, from my experience, I'd say, um, oh, Okay, sorry, bro, sorry. I forget sometimes, yeah. Um, from my experience, I'd say, um, you know what? Go for what you actually want to do. Because at the end of the day, um, it's what's... Don't, like, don't, 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 don't chase, like, the money as much as, you know, our parents and whatnot can push us in that direction. Chase the dream, something that you're passionate about, because it will always give you money. You know, you won't just drop it and say, you know what, the next day I want to be something else it's because you're passionate about it you know uh there's nothing worse than 
working 10 years of your life on something that you don't really like doing and then you go back to what you're passionate about but by then people have already moved so like go for your dreams bro go for your dreams um yeah shout out to that bro yeah Shout out to that. That was nice, bro. Oh, yeah. Thanks for coming along. Can you please also tell people where they can find you on the socials and yeah, what you prefer what you prefer them to, you know, hit you up on, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so on the socials, uh, you can find me on Instagram. Um well I'm still thinking of going back to Facebook. <laughs> Hey, it's a great market. Uh, yeah, it's a great market. It's a great market. I won't lie. It's a great market. But yeah, for now you can find me on Instagram unless you personally know me and you have my number type of thing. You know, you can always hit me up on WhatsApp. You know, so um, on Instagram it's a underscore makunga underscore designs. So that's for like um, my uh, graphic design work. Okay. And then I have a personal page in which there isn't a lot of pictures of me there because. Uh, I I don't use social media to sell just like me. I use it to sell my Your art. My okay. art. So you can follow um, A underscore Makunga and what you'll see there is I play around with photography. So there's A underscore Makunga and there's A underscore Makunga yeah. underscore, underscore designs. designs. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. All right. All so right. you can hit me up on both and yeah. Um, no Twitter. Expect to reply. No Twitter. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Don't ask why, but... <laughs> 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 hey bro, it's been great having you here. Finally got you here. Hey thanks bro. a lot for your time, bro. Thank you so um, much. Thanks guys for sticking around for another episode of BTC, which is behind the creation. Uh smash that subscribe button if that's what you're into. Uh click that notification bell to you know to be notified and shit. And yeah, like, comment, and you can follow me on tinyfilms underscore. You can follow my boy Q there on on Q underscore productions. What is it? Say it again. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> Q productions <laughs> underscore. That's what's up. That sounds good. That sounds better, actually. You can also follow uh, creative monsters underscore Africa. You know? And yeah. Thanks, guys. We'll stick around for another episode. Peace, love, and happiness, yo. I say that all of them. All of them. Ah, my, 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 my butt was still <laughs> starting from the song. Look, look, look. You're hanging on, hanging on, hanging on. I need a picture of you.